going on action figure fans syntax collector here with a review for the valiverse action force steel brigade desert steel brigade i should say if you watch my other videos recently did the arctic version looks like this is figure four series four the arctic steel brigade which i've done a review before Desert Condor. I probably won't get since I have a regular Condor. Urban Commando. I probably won't because I have the regular Urban Commando. So that Swarm Tracer is pretty cool. I might end up getting that. So we got the file card on the back. Old school. And I got the flag point. Or excuse me, action points. O to the flag points. Here's the UPC. I actually got this off Big Bad Toy Store just because this was a exclusive, the Arctic Steel Brigade. So I did a pile of loot and got them all together. A really cool packaging. I like how they went from the box over to this um, clamshell type packaging. It's really good looking packaging here. Let's go ahead and get this off nice and so I can keep this intact. So I'll get this off and dive into it. And here we go in the plastic. It's got really good. And it's got like a, yeah, like an extra plastic there. Let's go ahead and crack this all out. All right, here we go. What I do really like about the Action Force is just all the extra like accessories and details. So for instance, we got basically four sets of hands he's got two on his body right and then you got three more sets of extra hands so you got a set of um closed fist hands here and then a set that's like i don't even call them karate chop or, or what here and then you have another set that's probably like a pistol grip or you know, some grip of, a little tighter grip than what's on currently there. So you have four sets of hands with the figure. Three extra sets. So that's huge. We don't get from Hasbro. And you got the stand here. I don't use these stands because I prefer these stands since they don't take as much room on my shelves. But these stands are cool in theory because, you know, you can put the file card back there if that's how you want to display it. And it's color matched. But I don't use those stands. He's got a cool little... Rifle here, again, kind of color matched. These are, I don't know, they're real plasticky, so they're kind of not bad, but they feel real tough compared to Hasbro, but some, some of the Hasbro people complain that the classified figures are real flimsy, so, you know, different scales, different ends of the spectrum there. And then he's got, he came with a pistol already, and this one's kind of like a futuristic pistol, but he already had a pistol in the side on the holster here he's got two mags already loaded up here in his vest and he's got a knife removable knife in the back so action force does a really good job of accessories and of course straight up repaint but i wanted them we'll look into it later so there's so now i got black ops steel brigade desert arctic the regular and there's also a female version so technically five different versions but three you know the original plus three repaints and then a female version and then articulation um just like classified and the other uh, action force figures here you got movement in the foot uh, the ankle not as prominent as hasbro got the up down and then this lower leg here, left, right, upper leg movement here. And you got good movement in the legs. Obviously swappable hands, but they don't have the wrist articulation. Double jointed elbows and double jointed knees. Upper arm movement here. And you got somewhat, a little bit of butter, yeah, you got a butterfly there in the arm. He's not going to get up his arm all the way up because this is blocking the way. I guess you could trim that out if you wanted to. So he is kind of blocking that movement there. 
foam rotation there. Head, left, right, fine. Down better than back, back up isn't, yeah, back up's pretty good. He doesn't have really, yeah, neck rotation. It's all on, all on the head there. Now ball joint system's a little different than classified. And then, yes, he does got some left-right movement there, which is nice in the torso. And a little bit up down, but obviously this vest is going to restrict a lot of the movement. But I'm really liking how this desert looks. This desert camo. We'll see how it matches up to Dusty and Snake Eyes, and I think we're going to get a Desert Storm Shadow. They haven't announced it, but I'm pretty sure we'll get a Desert Storm Shadow mash the desert snake eyes but let's take a look at them in a different angle all right here we go all geared up it's rifle and sidearm this pouch over here it's looking good and next to the black ops i'm digging it like they might keep the knee pads the same, but everything else is pretty much repainted slightly. Yeah, everything's repainted just slightly touched up, but I'm digging it. I'm not even mad at it. Like I said, it's desert, so it serves its purpose, right? He definitely looks better with yeah, he's pretty close match there to Desert Snake Eyes. Taller than him too. That's a pretty good match. And this they didn't do any real camo. You can definitely see the difference there in the desert. Dusty's got Camo, this is just a little lighter. Dusty's a little darker. I'm not sure how well that fit with his it's like Dusty. Is that just his helmet makes him taller? No, oh, Dusty's actually taller than the Steel Brigade there. It's crazy. You got three different figures here. Three different sizes. So that's the 112 scale for you, right? With the Joes ranging over from a little over six, pushing, they're not seven, but pushing 6.5 or so. But yeah, I figured that'd be a cool addition to the Desert Tactical Team because I say the Action Force fits in with Classified. People always ask. I really love the Snake Eyes too. The Snake Eyes is really cool, even though we didn't really need. This is the Snake Eyes that we didn't know that we needed, but once you got, get it, it's really cool. Um, I think this was the Amazon exclusive, and this is, like I said, there should be a Storm Shadow. They haven't announced it, but pretty much giveaway on his cover art. There's a Storm Shadow hiding up on top of a building or something, so it'd be cool to see a desert Storm Shadow. But, yeah, I'm digging it. It's fitting in. So, let's take a look at some other figures here. Then we have... Uh, Import figure, 112, so you see it kind of towers it there. But then the, you know, the Snake Eyes isn't too bad, right? So Snake Eyes, the Snake Eyes actually blends in really well with the import. The Snake Eyes is a little bit taller, but yeah, he kind of towers over the import. This is your true 112 six inch from the import side of things. And then from the Marvel Legends house, Red Skull towers over him. But this still is just a big dude or a big figure. But Red Skull's on the smaller side of even Marvel Legends as well. But it all blends in pretty well. And then lastly, the Arctic, the Desert, the Black Ops, and then the original actually this is the original from the kickstarter that's got the gold alternative head that came out was like 2020 but yeah guys there we go the desert steel brigade from valiverse valiverse action force 
like, comment, subscribe. JJ out.